you guys keep asking me questions about it. So let's go ahead and try and answer them all, all in one video. The Milwaukee Pack Out, my tool system, coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I want to take you guys through my entire Milwaukee Packout system because I get lots of questions on all the various parts of this guy. And to be honest, it has changed. It has constantly changed. And I think I've got a working system that just really does it for me. I get 90 plus percent of my calls done first time I see it when I take this whole entire kit with me. So let's go through it guys let's take a look we'll go from the top to the bottom let's go through the entire milwaukee packout system as i have it set up realistically right now now you guys should know that i don't use this system for every single call but it is an entire system if you have a major repair that you have to do and it's so nice having all these things in one spot because i have had to rely on every single component of this system at one time or the other since I created it. Let's start at the top, okay, shall we? So what you guys haven't seen is that up here in the back, right here, I have my Safe Test 50 made by Rigel. That is my electrical safety analyzer. I keep it packed right here behind my tool bag. And this tool bag is actually the thing that goes with me to most calls. And I think I've gone through my tool bag. I've got my different plier sets, my mini socket set, a little bin of some micro switches, some fuses, etc. All that's right here. But I have a bunch of stuff just in this bag. You know, I told you guys that I've got some gloves, a voltage detector. It's all in this kit. My favorite screwdriver. I love that guy. So my flashlight's in there, marking pens, some grease, my Loctite, I have a lock pick set in there. So that is a lot of the components that are in my bag. This goes with me to most calls. And for the calls that I don't think I'm gonna need that, that's right guys, I got my Leatherman that I did a video on. Leatherman is the thing that gets me through a good share of the day. This guy is when I have a problem. And when I've got a major rebuild, that's when the entire kit goes with me. So next up, after my safety analyzer, after my tool bag, then comes the Milwaukee Packout vacuum system. And this guy, being battery operated, it's absolutely fantastic. It takes no effort whatsoever to pull the hose out and vacuum whatever I gotta do. I said it once, I'll say it so many times, guys. If you don't have a vacuum with you when you go and do PMs, what type of PMs are you doing? Because cleaning and cleanup after repairs is just such a major part of what I do and I, I hope it's what you guys do too. So anyway, my Milwaukee Packout Vacuum, it goes with me to all major repairs and it just attaches right from the top. Super easy, lightweight. Like I said in my other videos previously, my tools are stored inside it. I did add one tool, which is this conical tool. You can see it right here. This conical tool fits nicely and neatly right up by the battery compartment. And it slaps around the top and I'm ready to go. So anyway, that is the Milwaukee Packout Vacuum with my tool bag, with my electrical safety analyzer. Next, what are these flat boxes? How cool is this, guys? So, right here, I have fasteners. And you can see, I've got fuses, I've got some pop rivets, various types of screws, metal screws. Um, I got some fender washers, very important, guys. I've got some lens cleaners. So if you're gonna maybe pop by and uh, do a microscope or something, lens cleaners, we can use them for all sorts of stuff. Maybe even if you've got some adhesive that's being a little stubborn, since it's got some ammonia base, that stuff is really easy to help you get some stuff off. These kits are super nice because they got two latches right in the front. I can actually access them while they're still attached. So 
So if I need to get some fasteners, I just take my vacuum off, take the bag off, I can reach in here, sift through whatever I gotta get. I do have uh, some of my needles in here because uh, I've told you guys that I use needles sometimes in troubleshooting. I keep those in here. I also keep uh, screw down lugs for like video cables. Those are in here. I do have some micro switches and some solder and some paper clips. You never know and you can use some paper clips guys. Um, whether you're making a jumper or to help you test a connector or something, that's where it's at. So that is one of my pieces, is a Milwaukee Packout Flak Pat. And look at this, I have a second one here, just because I'm crazy like that. I keep some push buttons, IEC power inlets. Uh, I've already had to use a couple of those, and I'll probably have to restock some batteries. Guys, I hope you guys are using batteries. I keep some AA batteries in there. I probably should keep a 9 volt in here. Uh, I think I used my last one. But uh, I've got on off power buttons in here. Just uh, a bunch of random stuff that I have had to use throughout my career. I even have some odd stuff like some encoders. I don't intend on repairing boards in the field, but you never know. Um, I've also got some keys. Some You guys know that medical equipment often has some keys. I also have uh, hose barbs, double-ended hose barbs. You gotta join something to make a jig or whatnot. Double-ended hose barb is where it's at. And I keep those in there as well. So that, that is my Milwaukee Pack Out half pack, my second one. Now you can see I have my Milwaukee Pack Out socket set. And this guy is top, front, and center. I love how it sits on top of this box. Because if you are fixing something, all you gotta do is take some of this stuff off and you can flip through it real quick, get what you need to get, and then you know what's missing because you can see it. So you can inventory your tools before you pack up and take and leave the scene, which is super awesome because I have had sockets that roll underneath equipment and you're like, oh hell, where is it? And you know to stop and look around thoroughly before you press on because as soon as you press on, it's gone. That socket is gone, guys. You'll never, ever see it again. But anyway, that is the Milwaukee Packout socket set. This guy can detach from the top. No real reason to do that because it just finishes off the top nice and easy. And guys, I do still use my Milwaukee Packout set sometimes as a stool to get up on top of like refrigerators. And I have absolutely no problem whatsoever standing on this guy. See, it's very stable. I know all you guys can do is see my shoes right now, but if I have to stand up and get on top of a refrigerator to clean the coils or something, all I gotta do is pull off my vacuum, pull off the tool bag, pull off the other two trays, and get on top of there and start vacuuming out the top of that refrigerator. No problem at all, guys. So now comes the next part, the piece that everybody asked me about, what is actually inside my Milwaukee Packout drawers? So let's zoom on in. You can see I have fitted mine with my logo right here because uh, that's the only thing that signifies my affiliations while I'm at work. Everything else is, is pretty much work as standard. Um, marine grade heat shrink, tie downs, jumpers, some very essential pieces. I got some of these I found in laboratories. You can use them for fasteners. What an excellent tool. So you just unscrew them. When you're taking something apart, you put your fasteners in there. You can leave that in the device because it's basically disposable. So leave it in the device with the fastener so when you come up back with the part, you can put your fasteners back in. Very nice. I have rosin flux, marking pens, some cleaning brushes, a level. You never know when you could use a level. Guys, I could actually use a level quite often. Uh, Zeiss wipes. I got some Ear Pro. Got just a bunch of stuff in there, some more shrink tube and uh, screw extractor set, and some of these infamous little guys. I got some uh, swabs, use those very often for uh, microscopes. In my second drawer, I have Torx drivers. Oh my gosh, guys, I use Torx drivers all the time. I've got a screwdriver drawer with uh, my crescent wrench and my special crescent wrench that I did a video on. 
with some of his sockets because they're through hole sockets and those are super nice when it comes to uh, casters and things with long studs. The next drawer, I've got some impact driver sockets. I've got all sorts of different wrenches, wire strippers, a couple hammers. This is actually kind of a heavy drawer. Um, I would bet if that's 50 pounds, I'm probably coming pretty close to it. But uh, my pop rivet gun, all that is kept in this drawer. And I've also got some box end wrenches in there. The next drawer. All right, guys. So here I've got all my different bit sets and drill bits. I've got security bit sets. This is a pretty nice one made by uh, ProTorque. I have Dremel bits because I have my Dremel in there. Believe it or not, I use that guy often enough. I have my Fluke multimeter and my Fluke multimeter lead set. So if I'm going to do some type of uh, tests, I have every type of lead that I could possibly think of that I need in the field. And I've got some extra long bits, some random bits in this guy right here because it fits nicely right out in the front. My next drawer down. All right, so I have all sorts of random batteries. I've got some extra DeWalt batteries. I've got uh, two M18 batteries. I have my DeWalt impact driver. I absolutely love that guy. My DeWalt drill. My Milwaukee heat gun. I have had to use this guy so many times it's not even funny already. There it goes. It's nice and hot. And I have no problem whatsoever with putting him back in my toolbox, even though it's plastic. Because, like I said in my other videos, because of the conical shape and the way that it's centered and protected, I don't have to worry about heat damaging anything around it. And I've got my nice and portable battery powered soldering iron. See that? This guy here has already saved me a couple times in the field. What a nice little tool. And it shares the same exact battery as the Dremel. So I just remove the battery, pop it back and forth if I need it because it's not a um, type of thing that I need a battery for each tool. I'm trying to cut down. The only thing I keep extra batteries for are for the vacuum cleaner. So that's why I have the extra batteries. Normally, uh, I've only had to do a battery swap on this guy once, and that's because I actually was uh, heating up some plastic to reshape it in the field. And um, I did go through an extra battery on that guy. But, for the most part, I don't use it that often. But when I do, I really need it. Let's go ahead and put this back in the way that it's supposed to be. fits in there quite nicely. So guys, when I'm on site and I need to pack this guy back up and get the heck out of there, it's super fast and efficient, which is why I really like this kit in general. So all we gotta do, get the half packs, slap them on. cleaner, tool bag, and my safety analyzer. Last but not least, it sits in a spot down in the back, and this guy is completely packed up and ready to go. You would think that all that stuff is a huge amount of weight, but it is super easy to maneuver around with this tool cart and get you where you gotta go. Anyway guys, that is my entire Milwaukee Packout system. Top to bottom, it's what I use on my major jobs and it seems to solve almost every single problem I see on the day to day. If you like this kind of video, leave me a thumbs up down below and maybe I will start doing more tool type videos for you guys here in the future. Thanks for watching.